What's up YouTube, it's Master Aquatics, and I'm bringing you guys another video. Let's jump right into it. So in this video, I'm going to be trying something a little different, something outside of the box, something that I paid a good chunk of change for. So what you're looking at is some frozen krill. Now this food is mainly for big carnivorous fish, such as like Oscars and fish similar to the Oscar fish. But my angelfish are pretty decent size, so I'm going to go ahead and try some of this out. And for obvious reasons, this is not for human consumption, so do not try this um, at home. Do not try eating it. Also, I'm going to be feeding them some blood worms. I haven't tried this brand before, so I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot. Uh, first thing that I did was I went ahead and I got a few pieces out. Now, I know that my fish aren't that big, but they're pretty sizable, so I don't need that much. And I know that they're not going to eat the krill whole. Um, so what I planned on doing was defrosting them a little bit, so I threw them in some warm water. And when I took them out of the cup of warm water, um, there was some leftovers in the cup. And I wasn't planning on feeding them that stuff, didn't seem healthy. So once they were nice and defrosted and not rock solid, I went ahead and I started cutting them into pieces. Now at first I thought my angelfish would be able to handle, you know, decent sized chunks, but I was sadly mistaken. But anyways, it's not hard to uh, cut these guys. Just make sure, you know, you have a good, uh, decent knife. Make sure it's not too dull. Make sure it's pretty sharp and you know cut them to the appropriate size for the fish you can cut them up as much as you want to um, depending on what you think your fish can handle now the first time that I cut them that's what it looked like and as you can see they really wanted to eat but they couldn't fit the food in their mouth properly so this means that I had to try and cut it up into even smaller pieces um, Red, he tried and tried and tried, but he could not swallow that thing. But he did hold on to it for a while. It was like watching a dog chew on the bone for quite some time. Um, Red has always been a vicious eater. I love watching him eat, but Cheddar Bob, on the other hand, had no problems eating this thing. Um, I mean, it took him a few tries, but eventually he did end up eating it. Cheddar Bob is definitely the angelfish in the aquarium that has the biggest appetite he's always willing to eat he does not stop he's like a vacuum cleaner in the aquarium he just he's always hungry he's always wanting to eat he can eat until his stomach expands pretty big uh, sometimes I get worried anyways I wanted to make it easier for them so I went ahead and uh, turned it into like this chum substance kind of looks like throw up and this is what it looks like it's like uh pretty much like particles and chunks well now i wouldn't say chunks but sort of like chum you know and i figured maybe they'll like it better like this but it turns out i cut it up way too much and they didn't even bother going for it um they really like the fleshy stuff the meaty stuff um in small chunks i know red and cheddar bob do uh the other fish they didn't really seem to go after it too much. Uh, the Philippine Blue, he was a little bit interested in it. The Garamis were uh, interested in it, but uh, my Koi Angelfish, not so much. And I believe behind the scenes, the Corridors, they were definitely going after that stuff as soon as it hit the uh, aquarium floor. But um, the reason why I have the Blood Worms as backup, it's because I know that there's a good chance that my fish might not like eating the krill. Um, keep in mind, this is the first time they're trying out this food. Um, fish can be very picky, so it's always good to have a wide variety of foods. Um, the reason being fish are picky is because fish were raised in certain ways. Like, for example, not everybody feeds their fish the same thing. Uh, some people just feed their fish like angelfish bloodworms. Some of them just feed them flakes. Some of them do like a variety of foods. So when your fish has been eating a certain food for so long, they get used to it. It's kind of like how a cat or a dog, once you change out their food um, and change it to a different brand, then you know sometimes they won't eat it. 
fish are the same way so don't get them wrong but these two on the other hand they are always willing to eat no matter what they will eat everything as you can see I went ahead and I put that stuff in there and the silver one went after it right away the uh, German went after it right away they never hesitate to go after food uh, they never take food for granted so they eat what they can and I think that's the reason why they are the biggest angelfish out of all the angelfish that I have if I was able to put that silver veil angelfish back into the 125 gallon tank he would cause some problems for the other fish in there most definitely um, I'm pretty sure he can he has more strength he definitely has more size uh, his color is not all that great but he definitely has some really good finish and that's why I'm really excited to see how my baby angelfish in the 20 gallon tank turn out uh, these are the pair um, I personally like the male better than the female the male again is the silver veil which is the one on the right um, and you know after feeding them this you know it's it's always good to try to go back in there and clean up all the uneaten food especially for this type of food because this type of food is really quick to dirty up your water and the best thing that you can do for your aquarium to keep it nice and healthy is to make sure that the water quality is on point at all times you never want to have the water quality drop for a long period of time and to do that to keep a consistency of good water quality is to be consistent about keeping the water clean and you know feeding is fun it's also something that you have to be responsible with you know when it comes to feeding your fish uh, the reason being is because you know it's very easy to overfeed your fish you know fish don't have something in their brain to let them know that they've eaten enough um, sometimes fish can just eat 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 until you know they pretty much die you know they can they can overeat you know it's a real thing it's not a myth um, so and another thing that you need to be responsible when it comes to feeding is making sure that you don't overfeed because if you overfeed not only can your fish eat way too much and die but in the case that they don't eat too much and get sick or whatever and pass away you know your water quality can go to crap you know excuse my French and if that happens then you know the fish are more prone to getting diseases they're more prone to getting sick uh, nitrates go up um, and a lot of imbalances will happen in your aquarium and you know your aquarium is like a small ecosystem you know and you got to make sure that you take care of it you know if you got plants in there you know that can bad water quality can also affect plants too so keep that in mind um, but other than that you know if you're feeding them responsible then responsibly then just ignore what I just told you in the past few seconds um, here I'm feeding them blood worms and as you can see these guys can eat a lot so you might be thinking well hey you just said you know don't over don't overfeed your fish but you're clearly overfeeding them no I'm not um, I'm taking into consideration how many fish is in there and I'm also taking consideration how big they are uh, the bigger the fish the more that they can eat um, the more fish that you have in the aquarium, the more food that you can put in there. Uh, a very good indicator um, to as to when to stop feeding your fish. Uh, most fish, when they get to a point where it seems like they've eaten too much, if you look at their bellies, uh, if their bellies are bloated real bad, then you want to go ahead and stop because that means they've had enough. Um, Everybody's eating in this tank, but the discus, he's just, I don't know, he's just a shy eater. He never eats whenever we're around. I think he waits until the coast is clear and then the discus goes ahead and eat. But, uh, yeah, so um, feeding time is the best time when it comes to the hobby because that's when you actually get to see your fish interact with food. And uh, it's even better when it's live food. Um, 
and it's just fun to watch it's also fun you know to observe and just see how your fish um, eat and you know how they act how they act with other fish when there's food around you know um, anyways hopefully you guys enjoyed the video I think I've rambled long enough I really appreciate the support until next time guys I'll see you in the next video take care and happy Monday bye Thank you, young God, for the blessing, ayy.